Hi everyone, thank you for watching this video. My name is Kipin. I'm a bioinformatics scientist with PacBio. In order to complement the release of PacBio Mars Seed Kit, today I'm going to guide you through how to analyze the data generated by the kit. I'm going to show you how to use our graphical user interface solution, which is SmartLink, to analyze the data with just a push button. And then I'm going to show you how the results can be used with many pop. Thank Good day, everyone. Thank you for watching this bioinformatics tutorial video. Today, we are going to take a look at the user friendly bioinformatics workflow for single cell isosync analysis using PacBio Mars 6. I want to first show you the reason why you want to use long reads for single cell RNA sequencing. On this slide, you can see that compared to short read sequencing, it is only with long reads you can sequence the complete isoforms from 5'n to 3'n. However, if the long reads have high error rate, you will lose a high number of reads in downstream processing due to errors in the cell barcodes and UMI. On the other hand, because PEC bio hi fi reads are long and accurate, they are uniquely suited for single cell isoform sequencing. PacBio has recently released the MASIC kit for 10x single cell 3' kit that takes any full length cDNA library generated by the 10x instrument and sequences it with the highly accurate hi fi sequencing. The concatenation method in the kit allows us to increase the throughput by 16 fold compared to standard cDNA sequencing. This kit allows you to prepare a library in two days that can be sequenced on a PacBios instrument. A user-friendly analysis solution in SmartLink 11 can then be used to analyze the MASIC data. Here's a one slide overview of the MASIC bioinformatics workflow. Firstly, the workflow starts by deconcatenating the hi fi reads into the individual cDNA molecules, which are also called segmented reads or S reads. Next, these S reads are classified into full length non concatenable reads and tagged with the respective UMI and cell barcodes. Cell barcodes are then corrected against a white list of known barcodes, and the UMIs are used to collapse the PCR duplicates. Finally, the transcripts are mapped to a reference genome and classified using GenCode reference database into both known and novel transcripts. In addition, cDNA artifacts such as intra-priming and RT switching are also removed in the process. Let us now take you through step-by-step step to analyze a demo dataset available on PacBio website. If you go to our official website, under Engage, Access Dataset, you can scroll down and find under the RNA sequencing section, a set of human PBMC single cell dataset sequenced with the MASIC kit. Here, you can see there are multiple datasets including one with 5,000 PBMC cells and one with 10,000 PBMC cells. For the purpose of demo today, we will look at the 5,000 PBMC cells dataset. In the dataset folder, you will find various data associated to different stages of the analysis workflow. To start analyzing from scratch, you can download the hi-fi reads band file from the CCS folder. As an example, you can use the wget command here to download it using command line. After downloading the dataset, you can use the inbuilt SmartLink tools to create a XML file that can be used to import the dataset into SmartLink 11. This is an example of command to do it. Note that you will have to change the path in front into the SmartLink path on your server. Once you have created the XML file, you can now go to SmartLink, under Data Management, click on Import Data, select HiFi Reads or SubReads XML file, and point it to the XML file that you have just created. After the dataset is imported, you can go to Data Management and review the run matrix 
of the sequencing run. Here you can see that this dataset contains 2.6 million HiFi reads from HiFi sequencing. Next, you will need to download the reference genome and annotation database for single cell isosync analysis. Go to the top right corner, click on the gear icon, and select About Smart Link. Under Genomes and Annotations, you can see that I have already downloaded both the Human Genome and Mouse Genome Reference and Annotations database, which are by default supported by SmartLink 11.1. After the download is complete, running an analysis is as easy as navigating to Smart Analysis, create a new job, select the imported dataset, give it an analysis name, click Next, and select Read Segmentation and Single Cell Isosync. All the default options will be filled automatically for you. If you are using mouse genome, you will have to change the reference set. Other than that, in advanced parameters, you can also choose custom barcodes and UMI design, as well as modifying the default cell barcode finding method between knee and percentile. The default knee method works well for most datasets, but if you have a dataset that fails to find the correct number of cells, you can use the percentile method. After the analysis, you can view the results interactively in SmartLink. Here is the result for the 5000 PBMC cells dataset. Firstly, you can see from 2.6 million HiFi reads, we were able to obtain 40 million segmented reads after deconcatenation. You can also see that the majority of HiFi reads contain the full 60 mer arrays. The standard read length of a 10x 3' library ranges from 300 base pair to 2500 base pair. If you go to read statistics, this tells us that 37 million reads out of the 40 million reads as reads contain valid cell barcodes, primers, and poly A tail, showing the advantage of accurate hi fi reads. The last row contains the number of reads after deduplicating using UMI, the percentage of which will depend on the number of cells, sample type, and sequencing depth. Looking at cell statistics, you can see that 4,000 cells are estimated from this data set, which matches closely with the expected input cells. Our barcode finding method works well here, but as mentioned, there is an alternative percentile method for the small number of cases where you are unable to estimate the correct number of cells. The barcode rank plot will help you to visualize how well the barcode finding method did. Comparing the real cells with the background ambient RNAs. Next, let's review the transcripts characteristics. Here, you can see that the majority of transcripts can be mapped to the genome. However, in cDNA sequencing, there are often intergenic transcripts and artifacts such as intrapriming and RT switchings. This will be filtered in the analysis, and the remaining transcripts are considered as those that map confidently to the transcriptome. If you look at the transcript classification plot, before filtering, you will notice a high percentage of intergenic transcripts. For example, after filtering, these likely artifacts are removed. In the download step, you will find many useful files that can be used for further downstream analysis. For example, the set of matrix file that is compatible with popular third-party analysis tools such as Surat and Scampi can be downloaded here. Note that this contains two sets of matrix. One has the isoforms by cells matrix, and the other one has the conventional gene by cell matrix. Here is an example of using the matrix with a fast web browser single cell analysis tool called Kana. Kana takes in standard matrix market file, so we can easily load the SmartLink 11.1 results onto it.
Here, I will also ask Kana to annotate the cell type. While Kana is running, let me show you the isosig.how page where you can down you can find documentations on how to analyze not just MASIC data, but isosig data in general. On the single cell page, for example, you will find the instructions of what we have just done with the PBMC data set. There is also an example script here to process the data using Surat, and it will generate a UMAP plot for you using the demo PBMC data set as shown here. Going back to Kana, you can see that within just a few minutes, the PBMC dataset has been clustered, visualized, and annotated all in an interactive browser. I hope I have now shown you just how easy it is to analyze MASIC data. Please download the demo dataset and try it yourself. Thank you.